And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. It is Thursday. It's tradition time. You know how it is. We're all about legacy on this channel. And no legacy is greater than the legacy of the Thursday pack leagues. I feel like not many people agree with me in that sentiment, but that's fine. It's okay. So we got uh, some absolute doozies, but I mean, it's not even really that surprising. It's July in NBA 2K22. They are already teasing 2K23 things. So, you know... The fact that we're getting overpowered cards at this stage is not exactly shocking. So let's look into what we had revealed today. First off, we got a uh, 2K23 My Team Challenge, which it's absolutely worth doing. Not even just because you're grabbing 2K23, but it's got some decent stuff for uh, 2K22, I guess. You get a shoe, a Hoff badge, which will probably be Drop Stepper, and for 2K23, uh, the equivalent of Drop Stepper, whichever the most useless badge is, is the one you're probably going to get, and uh, 23 tokens, which for 2K22, not exactly the most necessary thing in the world, but for 2K23, very, very helpful. It's going to be pretty imperative that you have this stuff leading into 2K23. It's going to be very, very helpful, so that's cool. And then we got a uh, Devin Booker Invincible for free. Phenomenal like absolutely phenomenal for free is he the greatest card in the world no but he's got jump shot four he's six foot six he plays the point guard position devin booker is really really nice so i mean for a free card hey golf clap for 2k it is what it is it's you know the bare minimum to reward their player base that's probably sunk ridiculous amounts of money into them but uh we're kind of at the point with 2k where they if they even do just the bare minimum to reward their player base we all kind of lap it up because it's just expected that they're going to completely just shaft us 24 7 so like i said if they even do just like a tiny bit of fan service people lose their fucking mind oh my god but you know props i suppose it is a cool thing you should definitely put in the locker code I mean, it's a free card and he's relatively good like he's good like it is what it is he's not the most overpowered card in the game obviously they're giving it to him for free but uh you know he's good i guarantee by the way that we go the entirety of this year um which you would think the last like week, week and a half, 2K would give us a locker code for an end game card but no 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 they will not do that i guarantee People have been saying, yo, wait for that endgame locker code at the end. No fucking way. Absolutely no way we get an endgame locker code. I, you heard it here first. Speaking of endgame, two different Giannis's in the cut here, which, by the way, that's not correct. We're going to get, like, five different Giannis's. Uh, we got a small forward center Giannis and a power forward point guard Giannis. And honestly, hot take of the century once again, I suppose. The small forward center Giannis I actually think is going to be the best Giannis. Like, I think he's actually going to be the superior Giannis. I do. I don't know. There's just something about running Giannis at small forward. I think that's where he plays the absolute best. Now, notice there is not a shooting guard version of Giannis, and I do think that that comes into play. Uh, and we'll talk about that more when we get to the market. Like, I personally think that that means we're probably going to get a quote-unquote lower tier shooting guard Giannis. But, I mean, we obviously have a power forward point guard and a small forward center. I think this does well to at least kind of disperse the amount of MT he's going for. He's still going to be a million plus for each of them. So don't look at this and think that one of them is going to be significantly cheaper than the other because it's not. The cheaper one will be small forward center Giannis, but I still believe that it doesn't really matter. Katana is really excited about the Giannis as well. If you didn't, un, you know, miss that. She's really stoked. Yes, yes, yes. You are excited about Giannis. You won't pull him. It doesn't matter. Uh, then we got, uh, yeah, Yao Ming. Endgame Yao Ming, who plays power forward, which at this stage, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't. I mean, we're probably going to get four or five Yao Mings tomorrow and five or six Giannis's tomorrow, in addition to previous versions of both of them. So, you know, is it the most exciting thing in the world? Mm, when you realize that the endgame cards drop at a, like a 0.001% or... 0.000001% then no but I'm actually excited for the other versions of the cards you know I think that's kind of where my excitement really lies I think I'm stoked for like a slightly shittier Yao Ming <laughs> that I can actually afford so looking at the cards I mean we'll probably get a Yao Ming with set shot 8 which I actually like set shot 8 um, I'm a big fan of Sabonis uh, green very consistently with this release I actually think set shot 8 is really good on DeMarcus Cousins and a lot of people have been using Yao all year, until Taco came out, that is. 
this guy will be in packs too so this guy will probably drop off in price quite a bit and i'm sure we'll get a variety of yao mings like i'm sure we'll get a few additional yaos in addition to endgame we'll probably get an invincible yao also which is you know whatever i think invincible yao will be significantly cheaper but i mean still very expensive so like instead of a million mt he'll be like four or five hundred k so and then we'll probably get like you know this yao will be in packs again this yao will drop in packs pretty consistently just to you to everybody basically and then we'll probably get like a weird yao like an origin yao or something with like 45 50 hoff badges and then like some other ones cool whatever all the yaos will have set shot eight on very quick aside from the end game one which will have set shot 25 probably if if i had to guess i would say set shot 25 and then meta dribble moves like he'll still be like the best center in the game if not second best i would assume best like and people will run him at power forward i think if you were to run yao at power forward and mark eden at center there's no way people can score on you in the paint i'm sorry that would be ridiculous and then Giannis, obviously i think Giannis base is phenomenal this year i know other people don't agree with that sentiment but i think it's still like a top tier release this year i think it's great at least on current gen it's it's fantastic Giannis was already stupid um like he was already very good i think the only thing that really hurts him is the behind the back being steph which people don't like i don't think it's the worst thing in the world but obviously like pippin's significantly better but i think steph's is a little bit underrated and the pro size up hurt him right end game's not going to have those problems here is my hot take though and i don't think it's a hot take it's just a bold prediction i would say i don't know why i use the word hot takes because i talk about the nba and stuff hot takes are synonymous with talking in video form but I think uh, power forward point guard Giannis is going to have base three or Luka base. Um, it remains to be seen which one. I would assume they would go base three because it's a base that I think is better on both gens. And then small forward center, I think, is set shot seven, or set, 75. Set shot 25. Uh, I would like to see more releases from the end game cards. Like, it'd be cool to see a Giannis with Trey Burke base. I think Trey Burke base is phenomenal. Or Rudy base. Like, if this one had Rudy base, I think it would be great. But... I think it's more likely we see base three Luca base on the point guard one just kind of depends and then set shot 25 on the small forward center one and that's pretty much what we're going to see from end game cards from this point forward like the core concept is cool i just wish they would switch it up a little bit because as of right now we've kind of seen the same three jump shots on every single card and i would just really like to see like a mix up you know i'd like to see rudy base on some cards like i'd like to see an end game version of like somebody with set shot 17 and have them have like Exum base or something, just like a different base. The point of the end game cards is to make cards that typically aren't good at a thing, very, very good at a thing, the best at a thing. So I don't know, it would just like, I would like to see some different jump shots cycled in the mix, but let's go look at the market. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, looking at the market, look, I don't think the market is going to spiral out of control completely this evening, uh, though there are gonna be some bargains to be hunted. Uh, I talked about this challenge a second ago, but definitely go do this. It's on rookie difficulty to 21. You have no excuse to not do it. It's probably ridiculously easy. I haven't done it yet, but it'll take a whole 10 minutes. So I'm going to go do it. Look, Hoff badges are kind of pointless at this stage, but you know, I'm going to stack as many as humanly possible so I could juice up just the most ridiculous cards um, in a little bit here so I could just run limited with an iron fist. Now, end game cards probably aren't going to tank out that much. People kind of overreact to the price drop on end game cards every single week and they're going to from this point forward now there's a lot of shacks up but uh i still don't think he drops all that much like instead of the 1.2 million he was going for like before it's probably down to like 800 900k which like if you want shack yeah for sure you're saving 300k mt for sure scotty barnes probably sits around six seven hundred k i think he might drop maybe a hundred k like we're gonna see these end game cards drop by a hundred or two hundred k depending on the card like magic dropped quite a bit um that being said though magic is not much worse than Giannis. i mean none of the end game cards are really much worse than the other ones they're all juice to the gills and magic is a six nine point guard so it's not like he's that much smaller either Giannis says it's superior player build but it's not like magic is that far behind so my point being is if you just want Giannis because everyone's telling you that Giannis is the best point guard in the game tomorrow and you still want an elite point guard don't sleep on magic magic's still a top tier point guard literal top three you know on next gen he's a little bit farther behind but you know it is what it is the invincible versions are going to be a lot cheaper though this is where you're going to see a lot of the price drop 
there's going to be a lot of Giannis's up here um and honestly outside of the dribble style changes which whatever i mean Giannis has what quick dribble style but he's got some lower like dribble moves or whatever like yeah he's got a oh, shifty i'm sorry a shifty but his dribble sigs aren't quite as good i mean sure by all means like yes go for the new Giannis. but i think Giannis is just fine i just wasn't really paying attention to what i was saying don't care uh ben simmons i think we see take a pretty big hit because i think everything ben simmons does Giannis is just going to do better um which is accurate for sure but i mean if you want something that's going to be quote unquote a Giannis stopper for he's not cheap by any means but not 1 million mt go pick up ben simmons uh durant's gonna be cheaper i think we start to see these invincible cards drop in like flies price wise like i mean Lamelo's barely 100k at this point like he's been going for like 105 which i would pick him up if the cryogenesis one wasn't just like moderately worse you know and i'm holding out for the t-max by the way probably a wise decision to start selling some of the invincible cards while their value is still high um t-mac is a good example of that because there's no way we don't get a t-mac for the rest of the year it's literally not possible uh, michael jordan would be another one any high tier jordans you're gonna want to get rid of them uh durant um who else who else lebronathan for sure i mean look at how cheap invincible are going for at this moment like the only thing that's holding t-mac's value is that he's incredible on next gen and he dropped so incredibly little from those packs that there's just not that many of him running around luca still has value too and honestly i don't think it's really worth selling luca just because we're getting more lucas but an end game luca is just going to be the invincible luca and it's just going to have different card art because that card is already an end game card with his jump shot that they give to literally every end game card so there's really no point um i mean yeah maybe he has like a slightly different dribble moves but it, it really doesn't matter i'm sorry it doesn't now i'm hoping that a lot of these cards start to drop and they will because i think a vast majority of these hero cards are going to get more iterations this year michael jordan being one you're going to be able to lock in for wilt dirt cheap in like two weeks like because once we get lebron who's already 100k um once we get Jordan, Giannis is coming out tomorrow. Kobe's been dirt cheap. Once we start to get some of these guys in packs, like their price is going to start plummeting and you're going to be able to lock in Wilt for like 200K relatively soon. I'm dead serious. Like Giannis, he'll be in packs tomorrow. The one spoiler guy besides Pau Gasol, because we're not getting another Pau Gasol, is going to be Robert Horry. Like there is absolutely no way we get an end game Robert Horry. I mean, 2K could shock me and shock the world and throw an end game Robert Horry into packs, but I really don't believe that to be the case. Um, Dwayne Wade is another one that could not get a card, but Durant for sure. Do not spend over 100K on Durant if you want. We'll just wait two weeks. Um, Kareem for sure. No question we don't get an end game Kareem. Anthony Davis is another one that I could say maybe not, but I think 2K will run out of players for end game cards at the end of the year and they'll start throwing in randos like uh, Anthony Davis. Not like he's a rando, but you know, he's not someone you would consider to get an end game card. Now, tomorrow, we're obviously going to get Giannis and Yao Ming in multiple varieties in these packs. Yes, I could hope to see like a point guard swish Yao Ming because that would be hilarious and incredibly toxic, but I don't know. Now, I do think we see like a shooting guard Giannis, though. Um, I think it'll be a lower tiered one, probably the one with like 45 Hoff badges or 50. But we could easily see that occur. This card's going to be way cheaper as well um, because he's going to be in packs and probably drop relatively heavily. So that's something to think about also. But I, I think we see like five different Giannis's tomorrow. Probably only like three or four actual ones though. Yao Ming, this card's going to be way cheaper. It's probably not worth picking up because I guarantee they'll drop like a 50 Hoth badge Yao Ming that can shoot threes. It'll probably be, I don't know what it'll be, Swish probably would be my assumption. But you know we probably see a Yao Ming better than that one so maybe i'd hold off on that and the other two Yao Mings or three that we see are going to be absolute dog water um we'll see one that's just like the same as the season reward just with better badges um we'll probably see like what are the other sets i could throw Yao Ming in power within tease the season do you have any christmas moments i don't know maybe perhaps he did i don't know oh lunar new year yeah for sure Yao Ming is getting a lunar new year card yeah 100 percent. i mean i don't know i hate this concept just because i wish they would throw more players in with the concept but i mean it's cool to have affordable versions of like 
all the best players in the league. I enjoy that part. I just wish they kind of stuffed the packs with just a few more variety of players. But, hey, I'll be here tomorrow. You know me. Peace.